I don't like that. I don't like that. Hey, what's up, guys? I have not done a hey, what's up, guys, in quite a long time. That was that was triggering. My name is Demands One. Other, can you stop fucking moving? I need you for the video, but you fucking move. Stop. Don't chew on your tail. I'm struggling here. What if I did that? And then you see my bald spot. <laughs> my name is Demands One, otherwise known as Uzi, and today is not really a hooligan story, but it is a, it is a story time. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how I purchased my dog in a suspicious fashion. For those of you who don't know who my dog is, let me just introduce him. This is Atlas, Kawaii as fuck. Oftentimes in the daytime, he likes to sniff his butthole. He's got allergens. Those are some good fucking feedies, dude. Those are some fucking good feedies. Recently, he got sprayed by a skunk, so his face noggin smells. Atlas likes long walks in the park, and he also likes going in the yard and digging up shit. You give him a ball, and he comes back. He just won't leave. He keeps coming back. Him and Chicken Nugget don't get along. He doesn't like Chicken Nugget. Atlas is not smart, but he's smart. That's all that matters. Oh, hell yeah! Look at that body! Look at that fucking... Look at that tail go. Look at that tail. Big tail, dude! Look at the fucking tail! An offense! He knocked down my goddamn camera. He's an offense. He's a menace. He's a... a, 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 a. So now you've met my dog. Now, let me give you some backstory. I used to have this other dog, uh, Jacob. Bless his little heart. But he passed away. And then, so I, I didn't really want a dog at first, you know? But I wanted a dog. Let me just move this a wee, a tiny, a t Can you not? I really love that. Okay. So, I was not quite ready to get a dog. It took a little bit. So, I was like, I don't, like, not that I'm against going to the SPCA. You and, like, I'm totally for going to the SPCA. It's just, it's very far. And I was asking a couple people if they had puppies and, and etc. And I wanted to make it known that I wanted a medium-sized dog. And so I, I didn't want a German Shepherd because Jacob was a German Shepherd. Well, he was a German Shepherd Akita. And I didn't want a German Shepherd because obviously like it hurt too much at the time. And I was like, I don't really, I'm not really wanting to associate another dog that looks similar to my old dog. Because like, let's be honest, dogs, all dogs kind of look the same. Sorry, it's the truth. So, I went to a pet store and they had a husky there. Uh, it was the owner's husky. And I was like, I'm just wondering, like, where did you get your dog? And she's like, this is gonna sound weird, but the black market. She was like, I got it online. And then she's like, you know what, go on Kijiji. For those of you who don't know what Kijiji is, it's basically the black market Craigslist for middle-aged women who want to buy a toaster oven for 20 bucks and they're ready to party. I'm looking around, there's a couple dogs here and there, but I'm not really like feeling it. You know when you know, when you know, you know. <laughs> I left an ad there. Keep in mind, medium dog. Okay, I'm asking for a medium dog. Looking for a medium dog, uh, price, willing to negotiate, puppy. Okay, I wanna start fresh. I wanna mold them until they're unmoldable. What I did with that fucker, and oh, let me tell you, it went fairly well. You know what I, I fucking got a reply, like the day of, hi, I have some Pomeranians? I think they were teacup Pomeranians too. That's not a medium dog, ma'am. And uh, I remember being like, sorry, I'm looking for a medium dog. And she's like, willing to negotiate? <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't want your teacup Pomers. I don't want them. I want me medium pepperoni. Okay? I don't want the pepperoni slices. I want the whole pepperoni. And so finally, finally, I stumbled, like it, it had been a week, I stumbled across this ad for puppies. It was puppies, and there were four puppies, and they were described as being shepherds <laughs> mixed with black laps. Wants to leave now? You wanna fucking go? Nah. 
spent all that goddamn time in my fucking room making a video about him and he doesn't even want to sit and watch. And so I'm like, I'm like, ah, hell yeah! Hell yeah, dude! So here's where the weird part comes. I call the number because I'm one of those weirdos and I'm thinking it's a middle-aged mom just trying to sell these puppies. And so I call and the person that picks up is the daughter of the person that left the advert. But here's the thing, the daughter doesn't live with the mom, okay? And the daughter didn't even realize her phone number was on the ad. She's like, uh, this is like something for my mom. I'm, I can give you the number though. And I'm like, that's a little weird that you don't want to like leave your actual number. You leave your daughter's number and she doesn't even know why her number was left there. Like she's, she's not the one getting rid of the goddamn puppy. In the puppy row, there were like a bunch of puppies. There was like one with black and, and spots and one that was white with black spots. And then there was Atlas. Atlas spoke to me. He was standing in the middle making this face and I identified with this dog. He was the odd man out. And I was like, I need him. I need, I need that one. So I, I called and she's like, Sally, you know, hello, you know? And I'm like, hi, I'm just interested in the dog, like the one with the half and half. And I'm speaking English at this point. She's like, Francais, s'il vous plaît. Like French, please. And I'm like, okay, okay. Um, so I tell her I'm interested in the dog with the half and half. And I'm wondering if he's still available. At this point in time, I basically named him the Oreo cookie boy. So I was like, I'm wondering if that one's still available. And she's like, oh yeah, 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 that one's really popular. And I'm like, okay, like, is he still available is what I asked. And she's like, yeah, he's still available. Do you want him? And I'm like, yes, how much? And she's like, 150. That's not so bad, I could spend 150. And at the time, my sister was kind of like helping me out with dogs. My sister buys me things without my parental permission. Like I wasn't allowed to get this dog. I wasn't allowed to get a tattoo. I wasn't allowed to get a piercing. <laughs> and my sister is like, you want something? I can get it for you to make up for your horrible childhood with me. Done. I'm thinking this is fucking great. That's like, that's like a good price. I mean, free would be an even better price, but that's a pretty good price. And he's dewormed. Fuck, dude. The light is no longer cooperating, so I'm moving the angle of the camera. Look at my lips. Mmm, you like that? You like that angle? <laughs> I'm, I'm like, perfect, okay? So I'm like, where, where are you? And she's like, from a farm, like in the middle of nowhere. And I'm like, okay, well, are you, like, she's like, I'm able to drive him to a location but you gotta pay for the gas so it's gonna be 50 for the gas because she lives pretty far which understandable so she drives all the way to my sister's house at the time drops off the dog so basically i paid 200 for a dog should have gone to the sbca at that rate was he 50 dollars i don't remember maybe it was 150 altogether he was 100 and then it was 50 dollars for transportation whatever it's not important anymore I've spent way more money on him since then. All those vet bills. <laughs> First of all, he, he was like dewormed, but not really. He was taking this like medication, which was not, you know, exceptionally good. Apparently like she showed up the door, showed up at the door. My sister was English, obviously. So she's speaking English to her and this woman is not having it. She just like these goddamn English people. I have so much regret right now. And, like keeping in mind that this dog is supposed to be a shepherd mixed with a lab. I brought him to the vet. I told them what he is supposed to be and they looked at me and said, no, no. Anyway, we Googled some things. He may or may not be a coolie, whatever that may be. It's a type of shepherd, cattle dog, but definitely not a lab. Why she lied about his breed, I will never know. He looks a little bit like a dingo. I may or may not have a dingo in my house. He doesn't behave like a normal dog. He skips as he runs. He sniffs a lot. He's got a lot of energy. He looks a little bit like a scrub sometimes. Sometimes when he's eating, he goes cross-eyed. These are all qualities that are very excellent, okay? But a little weird. I may or may not own a dingo. We're, we're unsure. It's a wild dog in case you're wondering. That's what he looks like. Because I've looked up a coolie, and like, he looks like a coolie, like this color pattern, but he's a little bit bigger than a coolie, 
So I'm like, I don't, I don't know what the fuck you are, dude. So what I'm saying is when you go online, you're basically playing a guess who of dogs. If you want a dog online, KGG is a great place. This is not a sponsored ad. I've only ever purchased one thing from that website and it was a dog. So a pretty good purchase if you tell me. It's been four years. He's part of the family and I've spent more money on him than I will in my entire life on myself. And that's uh, the story of how I purchased a suspicious dog, <laughs> if that makes sense, an illegal dog. Hopefully the changing of the camera angle was not like an issue. Hopefully me looking in the viewfinder constantly was not an issue, but you can leave in the comments below all your little complaints. Have you ever bought anything like big, like like a big item from like one of these websites um, or a dog online, who knows? If you have, comment below and uh, I will be sure to reply if I'm inclined to reply. Usually I am. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell for a notification if you want to be notified. If you don't want to be notified, I don't know. I'm not your parent. You can do whatever the fuck you want as long as you are doing it safe. And as always, stay Gucci, my friends. Ah. Out your screen, out your screen, where Clone doesn't put the links to anything, because he likes to watch you suffer. How does not putting the links make me suffer in any way, really?